my dear friends whenever these type of problems will come where one body is resting on the table and one body is hanging downwards and if there is a friction friction on the body which is resting then you need to apply a very very simple logic here not a formula a simple logic that if you want to find out the coefficient of friction mu okay so if you want to find out the coefficient of friction mu is equal to mass of the hanging body divided by mass of the resting body so what is the mass of the hanging hanging body mb what is the mass of the resting body ma according to this problem so therefore you know mu is given here how much it is given uh, mu is given as 0.2 and mass of the body uh, we have to find out b and mass of the body which is hanging is given here block mass on the resting on the table is given that is 2 kg so therefore mass of the body which is uh, uh, hanging is taken as a 2 into 0.2 which is nothing but 0.4 kg that's it then what is the logic behind this this is the formula which this is a logic and how did this logic come what is the concept behind that the concept behind that i will discuss here now so the concept behind that is very simple that whenever the bodies are at equilibrium that means downward force and friction force are same then you have to apply that friction force is equal to weight of the body weight of the hanging body is equal to friction force which is said to be static friction so both will be same then only bodies are getting balanced they are not coming down therefore static friction formula is mu into ma into g which is equal to mb into g that's it this is a simple formula this is a simple logic behind that simple concept behind that we can cancel out g and g therefore this implies that we write mu is equal to mb by ma so this is not nothing but the shortcut formula which i have discussed just now okay so there is not a rocket science here it's a very simple formula which i have been discussing here so therefore this is going to be a, a shortcut formula okay mm. my dear students you can just see the problem given here and you can just see the solution also which is given here see instead of following this much uh, big solution what i mean to say this much big solution time taken for smooth is taken as ts and time taken on the rough inclined plane is taken as tr in the problem it is said that twice twice okay so a time taken for rough surface to slide down the rough surface is definitely more than the time taken on the smooth surface okay it is more so there is a general formula to solve this problem instead of doing all this lengthy process what is the general formula we shall discuss about that what is the general formula you know time taken for rough surface is n times the time taken for smooth surface if it is n times then the general formula is mu is equal to tan theta into 1 minus 1 by n square this is the formula this simple logical formula can help you to bypass all these lengthy methods okay so how can you solve now if you want to find the coefficient of friction simply you have to write mu is equal to tan 45 because it is given that the inclined plane either is a smooth or a rough the theta is going to be same that is 45 and uh, it is twice n is equal to 2 so in the problem it is given that twice means n should be taken as 2 here so 1 minus 1 by 2 square that's it so mu is equal to 1 1 by 1 minus t square i mean 2 square is going to be how much okay so 1 minus 1 by 4 which is equal to 3 by 4 is going to be your answer okay so 3 by 4 is going to be answer therefore 3 by 4 is nothing but 0.75 so you can bypass this lengthy method if you know the simple logic that refractive i mean the coefficient of friction is equal to tan theta into 1 minus 1 by n square this formula if you know this logic if you know you can save a lot of time and solve the problem in just 5 to 10 seconds my dear students are you facing difficulty in solving the problems of friction are you totally confused about how to draw a free body diagram then you are at the right place you can solve the problems of friction without any free body diagram also directly by using a simple logic what is the simple logic let us discuss here now here one block is hanging downwards one block is resting on the table and you know the block which is hanging is 6 kg the one which is resting on the table is 4 kg then you can find out the tension t by using a simple logic no need to by heart any formula or no need to draw any free body diagram a simple logic a basic formula of newton's second law can be used to solve this problem how let me discuss about that so here you know tension tension is equal to mass into gravity m into g but here in this case you have to write the formula tension t is equal to reduced mass into net net gravitational force what is a net gravitational force or net acceleration 
the simple thing you have to do is you can write tension t is equal to reduced mass means m1 m2 by m1 plus m2 so product of the masses and sum of the masses is taken as reduced mass and net net acceleration is nothing but it is acceleration because of hanging body that is g and the acceleration because of the resting body because of coil, because of friction force and that is taken as mu into g as friction is there you have to multiply mu to g that's it so your formula is ready you can just substitute in this formula and get the answer very easily very easily let me discuss about that so tension t is equal to m1 m2 means 6 into 4 by 6 plus 4 into 1 plus mu 1 plus mu is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 4 into g you can common out here okay 1 plus mu into g you can common out so 1 plus 1 by 4 into 10 that's it okay or you can just write uh, like this also you can write here 10 plus mu is how much 1 by 4 into 10 okay so if you apply this formula directly you will get an answer okay it's very simple very easy logic it is no need to buy hard anything basic newton's law will help you to solve this problem now 24 divided by 10 10 if you common out 1 plus 1 by 4 so 10 10 gets cancelled 24 into 5 by 4 so after lcm it will get 5 by 4 4 6 are 24 so tension t is equal to 30 newtons so you have solved this problem without any free body diagram and how many problems you want me to solve in this chapter just comment below what type of problems you want what type of chapter you want just comment below and you just prescribe to your friends describe the comments below and subscribe to the my channel okay my dear students how can you solve this problem in just single step logical formula so here there are two cases in one case the force is acting in one direction in the other case the force is acting in the other direction but in both the cases is asking us to find out the tension at the middle of the two blocks so let us imagine the tension at the middle of the two blocks blocks is taken as t here okay so we need to find out the t here so to find out the t here what is the logic behind that is uh, if you want to find out first case let us imagine uh, let us take this as the first case and this as the second case so in the first case you can just take tension t in the middle of the two blocks is taken as f1 force means 500 newtons uh, acting in this direction that is 500 into m2 this side force but this side mass you have to take opposite side mass you have to take and the mass is taken as 15 plus as the other side there is no force that is taken as 0 into 10 divided by the total mass that is nothing but 15 plus I mean 10 which is going to be 25 so 15 that is 500 into 15 divided by 25 25 ones are 25 20 times so your answer is going to be 300 newtons in the first case in the second case you have to find out the tension here that means in the second case the force is acting from this side this side it is the pulling force whereas this side there is no force so therefore as this side uh, there is no force you have to consider that as 0 into 10 plus sorry 0 into 15 because this side there is no force but opposite mass you have to take so you have to take this side force and that side opposite mass so therefore 0 which is not acting and uh, you have to take 15 plus 500 into okay 500 is acting this side but you have to consider the opposite mass here that is 10 here that's divided by total mass that is uh, 15 plus 10 that is 25 so that is 500 into 10 by 25 so 25 1 times 25 2 times so your answer is going to be 200 newtons so 300 and 200 is going to be your answer so fourth option is going to be your correct answer hope you have enjoyed this method of solving a unique method a different style of solving Okay, my dear students, how can you solve this problem which was asked in 2015 NEET and this concept is available in NCRT page number 106. <coughs> so, it's asking us to find out the contact force between A and B when force of uh, 14 newtons is acting this side and this side there is no force. So, I have taken uh, block B and C combined together that is 2 plus 1 as 3 kg I have shown here. Okay, 3 blocks is simplified into 2 blocks. One is A, the other is B plus C combination. And the contact force is small f which is written with green color that is taken as small f here, okay. So this is small f. Okay, small f is there here. 
small f is going to the contact force. To find out this contact force, there is a shortcut formula here. What is that shortcut formula? F1, M2 plus M, I mean F2, M1 by M1 plus M2. This is a shortcut formula which is shown here. So what is F1? 14 newtons acting from that side. What is F2? 0 newtons because there is no force acting from the other side. Okay. So F1 means how much? F1 is going to be 14 here. So contact force is nothing but 14 into M2 plus F2, 0 into 4 divided by m1 plus m2 that is 4 plus 3 therefore 43 by 7 your answer is going to be 6 newtons so this is a simple way one step formula even if you can solve this problem without pen and paper if you remember the formula and you are good at math